What is up guys and welcome to the Beyond Sana channel, my name is Shanks and today on the epic map Force of Eisen we're gonna have a clash between good and evil El Clasico matchup between Gondor and Isengard and we will try to change the meta and not build Uruk Pit at the beginning of the game that's gonna be a risky build but we might make it work and if you guys like the Isengard faction if you guys enjoy BFME 1 content please make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe for more content like this in the future Double Furnace start it's gonna be a risky and greedy opening but yeah you know maybe it's gonna work out who knows so our goal early on is to keep those settlements protected and we will hope that you know it's like a gamble situation we will be moving from the bottom side and hope that the enemy soldiers are coming from the bottom side this way we can catch them because uruks are the fastest the best looking and also the strongest swordsman in the game and with warchan they will become even more threatening and it's gonna be hard for the gondo player to deal with them Okay, so additional workers, and one of them is going to be sent now to the bottom left um, settlement. And one of them we can send to the middle and scout what the opponent is doing. You know, just in case he might come from the middle. I mean, if he's coming from the middle, we are kind of <laughs> screwed. Because then we, can, we don't have the time to go all the way back. I think we need to just commit now and take down his settlements instead. I mean, losing the mills is going to be obviously painful. But it's not the end of the world because we have double furnace inside the castle. And we will be skipping the Uruk pit and recruit some war riders instead. Okay, so I'm assuming he's creeping because I don't see him in the middle. I don't also see him at the bottom side. So either he's moving from the top side, which is going to be a really long uh, pathway. Or he is just creeping, which is going to be an ideal situation for me. Because I was going for a greedy build. <laughs> Alright, so we need to recruit um, more workers, war chant, to kill this farm as soon as possible. And now, after like one or two more furnaces, we will be building up the war pit. Dude, that's like a dream opening, boys. I'm telling you. We have such a great vision control too. We can send one of them also to the top side. Recruit more, 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 more. And now, we will even have a third slammer mill on the field. Are you kidding me? That's gonna be awesome. Like, we will be Bill Gates of Middle-earth, guys. Let me tell you that much. And the good thing about the Lamin Mills for the Isengard or for the evil factions generally is that they give you the wood bonus, which is making our buildings cheaper. That's gonna, for example, uh, get the Warg Pit extremely cheap. And we might be even able to get the Warg Riders on the field before the opponent will get the chance to recruit Gondor Knights. Okay, so dude, we are actually... What is going on? He's creeping, we know that. The Warg Pit, we need to wait until this is building up. That's gonna make it cheaper, 630. In 560, do you see that? Boom. Okay, dude, I mean, what can I say? It's a phenomenal start. And we will be even able to take down his second settlement, while our meals, all three of them, are still untouched. Like, if you don't make a major mistake, this game should be already won after such a phenomenal opening. And we see a lot as well. War pit for the war riders. And you know what? We will also recruit Lourdes and also Saruman later on. Also send one of them behind the castle. So we see what is happening inside the castle of Gondor. You know, vision control is super underrated. And the more you see, the more you know. And the more or better you will be prepared for the upcoming fights. Just keep focusing down the farm. Not a big deal. He's trying to creep this one. With the soldiers. So he was indeed creeping. Kill the Hobbit maybe? Ah, uh, we can't. Like, he has nothing inside his castle. Like, this guy is poor. Trust me, no one. And we have full base already, boys. <laughs> Whoa, dude, we are so rich. That's awesome, man. Let's go. Okay. So, also send one of them to the bottom side. I want to see everything. I want to know everything. Look, we are able to see him creeping. We are able to kill both the farms. Guys, guys, we are so rich. Let's go. We need to recruit one more, though. And Warp Riders are actually super underrated because they have the chance to use Hall ability, which is unique to the Isengard Warp Rider Battalion only. So yeah, they are able to make themselves stronger. And that also stacks with the Warchan. So you can use Hole and Warchan at the same time. That would mean you would have like an insane amount of damage and armor boost. And you can also use Vision of Palantir on them to make them faster. This way, they will get the chance to chase and catch the enemy Gondonites. Let's creep this with Warchan. Okay, he has the... I mean, we had actually the chance to recruit a Warp Rider at the same time like his Condonite. That's awesome. 
After this one, we will be demolishing the warp pits and go for lords. Two warp adders are actually enough. We don't need more than that. We gotta just make sure to keep them alive. That's all it matters. Demolish. And now we need 1400 for lords and we will be in a very good spot. Guys, dude, <laughs> let's go. And please, guys, if you enjoy this kind of content, if you enjoy Isengard faction, let me know in the comment section down below and subscribe for more content like this in the future. What else would you like to see on this on this channel? You want to see free for all games, 2v2 games? Just let me know. Because I've been playing a lot of 1v1s lately. And we are also going to have like a, a BFME 1 patch 2.22 tournament very soon. I will be participating myself to not lose the cash prize. So you can challenge me. Palantir. We can use Palantir on the War Riders actually on this on this one. And chase them down. Lord is almost on the field. Once again, War Riders in a one-on-one -on -one situation are stronger than Gondor Knights early on. Until they get upgrades like Forge Blades, Heavy Armor and also the Shields. It's going to make them overall stronger. The only weakness of War Riders is actually the, the lack of armor against arrows. Because Gondor Knights and Rohirrim, they get the chance to purchase Knight Shields and Horseman Shields. And War Riders can do that. That's why they are not a great call against enemy combos, for example. And also, they are kind of tricky, hard to control. Oh, he's not paying attention. Oh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Lords, lords, it's your time to show your quality. The fighting Urukai. Finish him off. Hello, darkness, my old friend. You can't disengage, my friend. Boom. <laughs> oh, that's bad. That's bad for him because he was losing one of the Gunner Knights. That's going to be quite painful. Hmm, he's saying. <laughs> yeah, it's not good, my friend. It's not good. Orlando Bloom. I'm playing bad. I mean, I think it's like a mind games thing, right? Mind games, in my opinion. Because he was actually assuming that I will go for the for the Uruk pit. If I go for the Uruk pit and he's creeping, he will be in a good spot. But I'm assuming he was even feeling the creep. Because I don't see any highly leveled Gondor soldiers on the field. And when you play Gondor against Isengard, you want to have a good start into the game. If you have like a bad start, Isengard will dominate. Okay, so creep, 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 creep as much as we can. We have so much money at this point. Holy guacamole. We can, you know what we can do? We can buy all the outputs on the map as well. Build a tower and put crossbowmen inside of the tower. Or inside the citadel, rather. And we should be in a phenomenal spot. Creeping quite easily. No problemo. He lost the Gundam Knight. He lost the momentum. He has a hobbit here. Hobbit. Peregrine took. You're full of a took. Lourdes actually needs ages to creep this dude. That's unbelievable. <laughs> Look, Lourdes is still, you know, creeping. Let's use uh, Cripple to one-shot the Vark. And now we can buy the outputs. I mean, we have so much money. We can do whatever we want. But I, before, we going to, before we will go for the upgrades, I want to actually recruit... Um, Saruman. That's the plan. Let's buy this settlement. Let's also buy this outpost. Now, we need to bring the crossbowman inside the outpost too. Oh, this hobbit actually sniped my settlement. Are you kidding me? Peregrine took. You're annoying. Okay, we can use Warchant here and fight. And hobbit is gonna finally die. That's good. Also, Palantir to make them faster. And put crossbowman inside the outpost. A tower, double furnace. Oh, he has Elvin Wood. Okay, okay. Abort the mission because Elvin Wood nullifies our leadership bonuses we get from the Warchant. That's why we cannot fight against the Gunner Knights. We got a bail. And also, you want to put your units into the skirmish formation or aggressive formation. This way, the units inside the outpost are going to be also able to deal more damage. Lords. The fighting Urukai. Okay, we don't need to you do that. Oh, he's going to steal my money. You thief! Why you steal my money? Uh, it's my bad, obviously. We need to get one more Uruk to get the Uruk pit to level 2. I believe we will definitely need some pikemen to be able to keep those settlements protected. Because once again, our war riders eventually are going to get outskilled. But we are in a good spot. Look at the minimap. You know, we have a great amount of map control without any pikemen. That's awesome. We have also power points for the industry. I'm actually pretty tempted to save up for the um, Tainted Land. But uh, you know what? I want to recruit uh, or get Saruman on the field as quickly as possible. Lords is going to get also more and more levels. Level 5 is going to be a huge power spike for the fighting Urukai. He will unlock his leadership bonuses. Which also will make... The war riders around him deal 60% more damage. So we can turn and fight this, no problemo. We gotta be kinda careful because we have war Chan on cooldown. But the outpost should be in a good spot. I mean, we have a tower there, you see. And he has no upgrades yet. Without upgrades or leadership, it's hard for him to contest that. Hey lords, be careful. We can use the cripple to kill one of the Gundam Knights instantly. Let's use whole ability. Level 4 lords, let's build. He was using heal. We can draw the sword and use carnage. 
Oh, he's smart. Okay. I mean, we just kind of wasted the carnage, but it's fine. Now we have finally... Oh, we have so much money. Saruman, more pikemen. Our lords actually might be in trouble here. We need to body block with the war riders. It's very important. Dance around to Rosie. Palantia. There we go. And let's shoot them. We are really close to level 5. We can use Warchant here to make them stronger. And we have now... I mean, the problem is I'm cash floating because I don't expect such a great resource income. You know what I'm saying? Lords, we need to build the armory. And uh, from the outpost, we can also build the siege works very soon to start sieging the Gondor castle. That's going to be a quick one, I believe. And that's how you snowball your lead with Isengard. If you get a lead, you don't want to mess around, you know? Oh, level 5. Oh my goodness, he's losing Gondor Knights left and right. We can use Cripple on one of the Gondor Knights. We have now leadership also for the Warp Riders now with Lourdes. And yeah, dude, that's unbelievable. I think at this point, uh, there is not much he can do. Because now we can just build a... Oh, he's gonna go to GG, right? Okay. I mean, <laughs> yeah, unlucky. Unlucky for him. Get a good start, and that's the dominance of Isengard, boys. That's how you win as Isengard against Gondor under, like, 12 minutes. That's awesome. You, guys, there, there will be a short video, but I hope that you will still enjoy that one. If you did, please don't forget to leave a like on this video, subscribe for more content like this in the future. I will see you next time. Until then, keep hitting like a truck, and as always, stay with you on Sundays. Look the money differential. We have almost doubled the money. That's awesome, dude. I will see you tomorrow, guys. Until then, stay healthy. Peace out.